All right, so this local dog just earned a top national honor. We're talking about Lincoln this morning, working with the King County Search Dogs. Lincoln and his handler, Jonathan Isant, are here in studio this morning. Good morning, you two. Good morning. Nice to see you. And congrats on the big honor. Thank you very much. It's really quite special. There are a lot of wonderful search dogs all over the country and yeah. in King County. And to be singled out like this is just wonderful. Uh, so, so what do you think it was that earned uh, Lincoln the top honor? Because you said, I mean, there's a ton of search and rescue dogs that do there this. There are. He's been very good that when he's had the opportunity to find some people over the last couple of years, he's used his training, he's gone out and he's found them. So it's been two older folks who wandered away from home, who were at risk, uh, one in the middle of the night, one into the woods behind their house. And he was able to find them and help us get them back to their family. And as we like to say, help prevent an emergency from becoming a tragedy. Okay, so I mean that is just one example of Lincoln's search specialties. Um, what other situations uh, do you use a search dog like Lincoln in? Well, uh, King County Search Dogs has three main areas. Uh, air scent dogs, which is what Lincoln is. He goes out and he looks for any person. We have trailing dogs, which are the ones you think of that you give them a sock and they will follow an individual person's trail, sometimes for miles, wow. even days after they've traveled. That's amazing. And then we have dogs that look for human remains, because mm -hmm. sometimes we have to do that either for people who uh, haven't been found in time or sometimes helping the police with criminal investigations. And Lincoln's actually certified both in air scent and in human remains detection. Wow. So tell us about Lincoln. How did he become a search dog? Well, it takes years of training. Uh, it takes training from a whole lot of people. We always talk about the fact it takes a community because as you're about to show us, when we're training dogs, someone has to go out and hide and the rest go out after them. We start the training like you do any other sort of dog training, little bits. And it's all done as a game. He thinks this is the greatest game he's ever seen. When he starts seeing his search vest, which we'll see in a second, mm -hmm. and the bells on it, which I use for hearing him because he ranges off in the woods, he'll get even more excited than he is right now. Oh, wow, that's um, fascinating. So we start with little drills as we're gonna do today, and then you gradually build up over two to four years mm -hmm. until he passes certification tests, which are finding two people in dense woods, in 40 acres of dense woods. Wow in two hours. So, I mean, what he's doing is amazing. I mean, it's also important work as well. So can you talk a little bit more about the national honor that he was honored with? So this is the American Kennel Club uh, Humane Fund Award for Canine Excellence, ACE Award. Okay. And they give it in five categories. One of them is search and rescue. One of them is uniform services, therapy dogs, uh, exemplary companions, and there's one other. Um, and they have a panel of judges who go over nominations. And a very nice woman up in Woodenville, thank you, Lura, uh, nominated him earlier this year. And then we found out in September that Lincoln had won. All right. So uh, did, did you get Lincoln for this purpose, or did you sort of fall into this situation? It's, it's a bit of both. Um, I've had flat-coated retrievers since the 1980s, and I love the breed. I've been doing search and rescue off and on since the late 70s, in fact, but it's only in the last seven years that I've put the two together yeah. and started working with King County Search Dogs. Lincoln we got uh, from a breeder in Olympia thinking that we would train him for search and rescue, so she picked out a dog that had great temperament, <laughs> loves people. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> You're and so sweet. had high energy. So oh. <laughs> there are days we go out searching where he, we know from his GPS collar, has covered 26 miles in a day. Yeah. Wow. And I guarantee you that's further than I go. So his normal thing that's with air sin is yeah. he starts and he ranges out sometimes a couple hundred yards until he picks up someone's scent. Okay. Because we all give off a little bit of scent. Yeah. And with our body heat and such, it rises up. The wind carries it a little bit like a smoke trail. Mm -hmm. And when he hits that, he gets into <laughs> the person to make sure that there's a person there. He, he knows what's under those tarps. <laughs> he's um, ready to play. Oh, that's he's what ready. It is. Okay, that's what it is. That's why he's all excited. Because he's often, you know, in, in the woods a, a few hundred yards away, I have to... I have to... <laughs> yeah. I he's like, he's like listen, this is my interview. <laughs> to, to find him. So he's trying to come back and tell me, indicate, 
by grabbing that little tennis ball, uh -huh. and then I give him the command, show me, and he takes me back to the person. All right, so we want to give this, uh, we want to show you an action, Lincoln in action. So Lincoln, Bill is- Lincoln in, wants to search. Right. All right, so I'm gonna So go, Bill's I'm gonna, gonna go be hide. our guy who's gonna okay. go hide. I'm going. And notice that he's watching. <laughs> The dog. You're very sweet. Oh my gosh, and he's ready to play. Uh, so, so Bill is hiding, um, and we don't know where he's going to be. And now this is the. This is his search vest, okay. which has these bells in it. He's already grabbed his reward boy or reward toy. Should I take or should I take that? Okay. Uh, there you go. Okay, you're the gonna dog. take that. Yeah, no, you have to earn that. Not you yet. Have to Not no, yet. no, 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 no. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sit, drop, there, there, Good. No. Leave it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, I'm ready to go. Nope. The perils of live TV. You're doing a great exactly. job. Exactly. Okay. You ready? Are you ready? Let's go. So we're ready to go out? Okay, we're ready to go. Let's we're go. ready to search. Okay. And we are seeing... So in a typical situation, we'd be given a search area. Oh. No, 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 no. Come here. Good job. And, wow, okay. Oh, so he's got his vest. That's his vest. Oh, it does. You can hear the little bells on it there. This is actually really fascinating. Wow. Okay, so Lincoln has his search vest on. He's ready Lincoln. to go. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Search. Oh, wow. Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, hey. oh my hey. gosh. Yeah. <laughs> he found him already. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> that took us literally 30 seconds. That literally there. was Good 30 job. seconds. Hey. Good job. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. There you go. <laughs> So now he gets the toy. Yay! Yeah, oh good job. my gosh! Good job, Lincoln. <laughs> you can see why he earned that major award. What a good boy! Is anyone else watching this going? I could watch Lincoln for the rest of the day. <laughs> I think Lincoln could do this the rest of the day. Uh, he can. Oh my gosh! Well, Jonathan, Lincoln, thank you so much for being here in studio this morning and for showing it. That was incredible. I mean, that was point five seconds. He found that him. That was great. Oh my gosh! Oh wow! That's incredible.